What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Carrie Hilson. Hey, what's happening, homie? This TIP, man. Yo, what's up? This Big Boy. Y'all know what time it is. Live from the West Coast. You already know you checking out Hard Knock TV. You heard? Yeah, what up, though? This is Common, and right now you checking out Hard Knock TV. You watching Hard Knock TV, you understand? Learn that you yach. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Wiz Khalifa, man. And right now you're kicking it with Hard Knock TV. And me, of course. Ah. Now tell me about the track that you did with Currency. Yeah, the song I did with Currency is a perfect reflection on, you know, me and his relationship just as far as music, you know, how we came up and um, and, and where we started and where we're at now, you know what I'm saying? And um, just based off of what we planned with each other, you know, um, I had my movement going, he had his movement going, but when we met each other, we put it together and we seen the same thing, you know, really come come from that. And I'm so happy for dude and, and, and you know, I'm sure he loves everything that I, I got going on. Every time I talk to him, it's just always the same, you know what I'm saying? Just me and Spitter, so, you know, it's good. Okay. Shit done changed. New clothes, new cars, new things. new things. Them same boys that used to be at the bottom. Came up, that's what they say. Used to not be allowed in the building, but now we on the rooftop. Used to not be allowed in the building, but now we on the rooftop. Just made a million, got another million on my schedule The pickup of my Ferrari, you jet, so you jealous You niggas ain't help us, I'm sick and thought you did They hatin' was the fuel for this shit So you wrote your own check, old oh, hoe ass Sweatin' bullets at home, wondering if she coming back Water you was sippin', she could smell it on ya yeah. Have you got a chance to hang out with Whisper while you been Nah, I haven't got a chance to, um, to hang with him since I've been here, honestly He's been doing his shows over there And I've been, like, my full days, I'm on radio promo while I'm, you know, here, so my full day has been like scheduled and booked. And as soon as I get a chance to chill out, I'm trying to go to sleep. Like, but I'm gonna um, get up with him. I'm about to go to a show tonight, actually. Okay. How, yeah. How's the radio run going? How are it's going really good, man. It's been every day of uh, of March, you know, nonstop. Um, well, really, since the end of February, and I got like a week left until the album comes out um, on the 29th. And you know, we just gonna push it all the way through. But I've seen, you know, the rise and um support and, and roll up and you know in the video and just the growth of the movement, you know what I'm saying? So it's the promo's been really, really effective. What has been the highlight so far of South by Southwest? Any, any crazy uh, Definitely uh, winning the Woody Award was my highlight. Um, but I haven't been out in the streets or anything like that. You know, I had two shows, um ye did I do two shows yesterday? No, I did two shows the day before yesterday. And that was really, um, you know, really busy. But, you know, i just been sticking to the grind, man. This year is just a little bit different, a little bit more busy than, you know, being able to enjoy and just run around in South by Southwest it. Say yeah, you don't perform it anymore. No, nah, I don't perform it anymore. But is there a particular reason why? It's just old as dirt. <laughs> um, it's an old song. It's a new situation, you know what I'm saying? I really don't want to, um, you know, they still own that song. So uh, that song is very good. It's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what if Say Yeah came back alive? <laughs> Something like that, you know what I'm saying? While I'm trying to promote my album and what I'm doing on this label. So, um, you know, and that's just me being a businessman. Nobody had to tell me to do that. At the end of the day, I still love that song. Um, you know, we, it could have went a little bit different, but fuck it, here now. I still one of these days want to see you perform Pittsburgh Santa. I did perform it in Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to fly out to Pittsburgh. <laughs> Get the special, the special, uh, special Pittsburgh version. I read something on the internet, correct me if, if I'm wrong, it said something about you having beef with Odd Future, is, is there any nah, truth nah, to that? No, nah, I don't got no beef with Odd Future, I just actually met them at the Woody Awards too, like in person, um, there was like a little situation where um, one of the um, the members of Odd Future, they used um, the title Rolling Papers for his mixtape, and he spoke out on how he felt about it on Twitter, and um, at the time I didn't get a chance to see it, or you know what I'm saying, even talk to dude about it or see what was up but um you know they he let it go and we met and we talked to each other and it was, everything's all good you know i'm always support them dudes and 
and you know anybody else young and coming up and with a positive movement you know what i'm saying that people are into like you know i'm not into beefing and stuff like that Speaking of uh, young and up, uh, up and coming, the the freshman double uh, XL class just yeah. got uh, released. Are there any cats out there that that you want to work with or that really stand out to you? Or well, I know all those dudes pretty much, except for um, I never I never met Meek Mill in person. I never met Fred the Godson, but um, everybody else I think I pretty much met or had a conversation with. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really just happy to see them do their thing and you know be able to work around and um, and get get some of those same opportunities. You know, just from being on the cover, you know, they get that a certain look, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just real happy for all those guys. Now, the first single, Black and Yellow, I haven't talked to you since that, that came out. Yeah. What was it like watching the, the playoffs and, and hearing your song? Yeah, you know, but, it was cool, man. It was awesome, and it gave me a lot to look forward to in the future, you know, a lot to want to work towards and a lot to just, um, you know, just look back and be like, dang, all of this work that I put in led me here. So, you know, it's a great culmination. When I was hearing people from LA and New York, you know, repping black and yellow, and yeah. I had to be like, man, helping putting Pittsburgh on the map. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, definitely. Great. And you know, that was the idea behind the song was just to show that Pittsburgh pride and and to let people know where I come from and what I do. And then at the end of the day, uh, the song was really, really catchy too. So you know, it, be, it grew beyond that regional, you know, effect and kind of just took over people's brains. <laughs> okay, I swear to God, two years ago, not last year, but the year before last. I wasn't shit, I was just walking around this motherfucker coming to shows, like drinking, eat pizza and shit, you know. I was still tearing that motherfucker. But I was out here just like y'all, you know what I'm saying? So, this shit can happen, straight up, just keep working. I try smoking weed, that might help too. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. You don't gotta smoke. But, uh, fuck, you know? Thank y'all for coming out tonight. I really hope y'all go get the album on March 29th and support this movement that we've been working on. I appreciate everybody up to this point. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna quit talking this shit. I'm gonna just play everybody's favorite song. Let's go. Of the mind. It will be it's 
will be. It will be. Giving nothing but truth.